just a couple of minutes away from starting back up. Well, I feel like Vancouver has one of the healthiest indie game communities in the world. It's one of the things that really attracts me to the city. Just having something this big, this close to home is just an awesome thing. You can talk to anyone, you can meet people, you can see what people are working on and uh, get inspired. Uh, well, the community is awesome. As somebody who really loves games and has wanted to make them for a while, like I came into it thinking, oh, because I'm not a dev, like they're going to shun me, they're not going to like me, but I came in and people were just like, oh, you like games? We, we like games. Like just hang out and talk about games. Fuck yeah, okay. You get to see a lot of people in the games industry here, a lot of passionate people come out to watch these talks. There's a sense of community. I, I don't really like just looking at a screen the whole day. So knowing that there's other people doing the same things makes me feel drawn to, to coming here. I started making games before I was living in Vancouver. And I was doing it on my own, kind of basement style if you want, and not knowing any other people to share it with. You know, it's, it's hard enough being an indie on your own. Uh, it's better to like, obviously, have people to support you, because it keeps you going, right? I'm able to bring, talk about the stuff that normally you have coworkers to talk about. And so this group is kind of like, it's a bunch of extended coworkers, which is awesome. They want to come, come to the same place and share ideas. I mean, there's nothing better than that, really. Everyone's just here to have a good time and share their knowledge. One of the cool things, obviously, the experienced speakers, seeing people from, like, from Valve about VR, kind of new tech. And um, in general, I like the more programming development side of things. Being taught some of their development secrets. The quality talks is really high. I'm learning a ton about VR. I'm learning a ton about different ways other studios make their games. And that's kind of my favorite thing about indie development and indie games is that there's no one true way. So it's not like a conference where everybody comes to necessarily learn. It's more like a conference where people come to like figure out what the hell everybody else is doing because nobody really knows what we're doing. And that's really exciting. Things that you might not even have thought of when you're trying to, for, especially when you're trying to start out. I've been taking lots of notes and I can't wait to just mull over them tonight and, and just think about everything I've learned. Here's a few tips. This is a few things I've noticed in the industry. Everyone share the knowledge and let's all make it better in the future, you know? So. Indie games. Uh, indie games dare to try new things. Just exploring new ideas, something out, of, out there, right? I want to try stuff that I haven't seen someone's perspective that you never would never have imagined like to, to experience, you can experience with an indie game, right? It's all about just what you want to create. Ever since I was a kid, I looked at video games and sort of saw these worlds of infinite possibility. I've been working in indie games since 2003, so it's near and dear to my heart. I do a lot of stuff, indie fun, indie box, fig, make my own indie games. Uh, so yeah, I love them. As an indie game developer, I'm led by my own imagination, by my own like interests and passion, and it's it's hard, but I can explore in that space. I think it refreshes me. Like every time I come here, I feel every day like, inspired and challenged to you know better myself too. You know, hanging out with a bunch of indies, getting to know people at Power Up Audio and other like local in independent startups. I can come back at, at my work with a fresher experience. It's a very wonderful, vibrant little community of just really cool, accepting, creative people who are just super weird and super smart and all like making stuff. So uh, yeah, it's, 